Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang operation on matrices. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so meron na akong naunang video about introduction to matrices kung saan tinuro ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung definition ng matrix, paano pangalanan yung matrix, paano mag-locate ng element ng matrix, at iba't ibang types of matrix. So ngayon, punta naman tayo sa operation on matrices. Okay, so let's start with addition of matrices. So, if matrix A is equal to A sub JK, and matrix B is equal to B sub JK are matrices of the same order, then the algebraic sum of A and B is equal to A sub JK plus B sub JK. So the commutative and associative laws for addition of matrices are satisfied such that for matrices A, B, and C, A plus B is equal to B plus C, quantity A plus B plus C is equal to A plus quantity B plus C. Okay, so madali lang naman yung addition of matrices Sasabi, given daw kayo na meron kayong matrix A at matrix B, dapat same order. Meaning, uh, paro sila ng size. M by N itong A, dapat M by N din itong. Halimbawa, kung 2 by 3 itong A, dapat 2 by 3 din itong B. Okay, so pag in sila, add nyo lang yung corresponding element ng bawat matrix. And then, same size pa rin yung magiging resulting sum ng dalawang matrices. Okay? So, sabi, commutative and associative laws of addition are satisfied. So, alam naman natin yun, di ba? Pag commutative, kahit pagbalik ta rin yung pag a dalawang matrix, equal pa rin. Kapag associative, the grouping of the two matrices that matter. Halimbawa, unang yung inad itong A plus B. Equal pa rin yun kapag unang yung namang inad yung B plus C. Okay? So, illustrate natin. So, let's say meron kang A, Matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And B, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 9. So, pag in natin to, pwede silang i-add kasi para silang 3 by 3 matrix. So, same size. So, pag in natin, add lang natin yung corresponding uh, element ng bawat matrix. So, let's say, yung A11 nung A, add natin sa A11 nung B. So, 1 plus negative 1, yung... 2 plus 2 yung 3 plus 3 4 plus 4 5 plus negative 5 6 plus 6 negative 7 plus 7 8 plus 8 9 plus negative 9 okay so therefore we have 0 4 6 8, 0, 12, 0, 16, 0. So, therefore, it is the sum A plus B of the two matrix A and B. Okay, so ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo sa calcu kung paano i-compute yung matrix sum ng A tsaka B. Okay? Okay, so punta kayo sa mode 6 kasi for matrix. So, tatanungin kayo, anong matrix so, let's say matrix A. Tapos, input nyo kung ano yung size. So, diba 3 by 3 tayo? So, press 1. And then, i-input nyo ngayon dito yung entry natin doon sa given matrix A natin. Yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Diba? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, pag mag input kayo, equal lang kayo ng equal para malipat yung uh, position noong i-input yung value dun sa matrix. Okay, so tapos na tayo. Then, press AC. Tapos, shift matrix 4. Tapos, this time data 2. Kasi mag input pa tayo ng isang matrix which is yung matrix B. So piliin niyo naman matrix B and then 3 by 3 din 'yon, 'di ba? So press 1. 
So this time, B naman yung ilalagay natin. Yung negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 9. Yung example natin. So negative 1, enter, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 9. Okay, so na-input na natin yung B. Then, AC ulit. Ngayon, pa na tayong mag-operate. So, shift 4 or shift matrix. And then, kailangan natin i-add yung A plus B, right? So, press nyo si 3. So, by the way, itong matrix A, naka-record niya sa kanya yung in-input nating values. So, i-add natin yung matrix A. So, plus matrix B. So, shift matrix ulit. Then, meet Math B or matrix B. So, plus 4. And then, press equal sign para masolve natin yung value ng A plus B. Okay. So, we have 0, 4, 6, 8, 0, 12, and 14, 16, 0. Okay. Uh, correction pala, no? Nagkamali ako. So, originally kasi 7 lang to, di ba? Tapos ito, 7. So, namali ako dito. So, dapat positive 7. 7 plus 7. So, dapat 14. Okay? Next, we have the subtraction of matrices. If matrix A equals to A sub JK and matrix B equal to B sub JK are matrices of the same order, then the difference between A and B is equal to A sub JK minus B sub JK. The commutative and associative laws for addition of matrices are not satisfied such that for matrices A, B, and C, A minus B is not equal to B minus A, and A and quantity A minus B minus C is not equal to A minus quantity B minus C. Okay, so para lang din naman sa addition itong subtraction of matrices. So, dapat, given yung matrix A at B, para silang dimension, yung number of rows at columns nila pareho at imbis na i-add mo yung bawat term ng corresponding position ng dalawang matrix isusubtract mo lang okay tapos this time sa subtraction hindi na applicable yung commutative at associative okay now ito yung example natin so let's have same pa rin doon sa entry ko kanina yung A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and B is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 9. This time, hanapin naman natin yung difference na A minus B. So, isusubtract natin yung corresponding position ng bawat element. So, so for the first row, first column, we have 1 minus negative 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. Then, 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 minus negative 5 is 10. 6 minus 6 is 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. 8 minus 8 is 0. And 9 minus negative 9 is 18. So, napansin nyo, nakabuo tayo ng diagonal matrix. Puro 0 yung elements below and above the diagonal. Okay? So, illustrate ko ulit sa calcio kung paano ito masasolve. Okay? Okay, so using calculator, so nakastore pa rin naman yung in-input nating matrix A tsaka matrix B dito. So ang gagawin lang natin, i-minus lang natin sila. So punta ulit kayo sa shift 4 or shift matrix, then press nyo si 3 for matrix A, and then minus tayo. So press minus sign, shift 4 for matrix ulit, then press 4 for matrix B. So i-minus natin yung matrix A. Minus matrix B, then press equal para ma-solve. Okay, so therefore we have 2, 0, 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 0, 18. Okay, which is tama. Next, we have matrix multiplied by a scalar. If matrix A equals A sub JK is multiplied by any number or scalar K, then the product will be matrix B equals K times a sub jk equals k times a sub jk. Okay, so kapag meron daw tayong isang constant or scalar number k na minultiply doon sa matrix natin na A, 
Kaya natin i-multiply each term doon sa constant na yun. Okay? So, let's say meron tayong matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, hanapin daw natin yung 2A or yung constant na 2, i-multiply natin doon sa matrix A. So, kapag ganun, equal yun sa 2 multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 matrix. So, ibig sabihin, i-distribute nyo lang yung 2 or i-multiply nyo lang yung 2 sa bawat element ng matrix natin. So, we have 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 9 is 18. So therefore, it is the answer. Okay? So pakita ko ulit sa calcul kung paano ito masolve. Okay, so since pareho pa rin naman yung elements natin doon sa matrix A, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nakastore pa rin siya dito. Ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin yung shift matrix A, which is 3, lagyan nyo lang ng 2 sa unahan. Or 2 times, ganun. Or pwede rin 2 quantity matrix A. So, it's up to you. So, pag pinas nyo yung equal, yun, masasolve nyo yung sagot, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So, nakamultiply lang lahat ng each term sa 2. Okay? Next, we have multiplication of matrices. So, if matrix A equals A sub Ji is an M by N matrix and matrix B equals B sub Ik is an N by P matrix, then the product of A and B is equal to matrix C equal to C sub JK an M by P matrix where C sub JK is equal to summation of JI times BIK from J is equal to 1 to P where J is equal to 1 to 3 until M and K is equal to 1 to 3 until P. Matrix multiplication of A times B or AB is defined if and only if the number of columns of A equals the number of rows of B. Such matrices are said to be conformable. Okay, so this time, medyo hindi ganun ka-simple yung pag-multiply natin ng parehong matrix. So, dapat, sabi dito, matrix multiplication is defined only kung yung number of columns ng A ay equal sa number ng rows ng B. For example, di ba yung A natin dito ay matrix M by N. Tapos yung matrix B natin is N by P. So, yung matrix A, yung column niya, same doon sa number ng row doon sa matrix B. And then, kapag minultiply natin sila, ang magiging final dimension is yung M by P. Okay? So, papakita ko sa inyo para mas malinaw kung ano yung step-by-step uh, -step process kapag nagmumultiply tayo. Okay? So, the commutative law for multiplication of matrices is not satisfied. In general, AB is not equal to BA. However, the associative and distributive laws are satisfied Hence, for matrices A, B, and C, quantity A, B times C is equal to A times quantity B, C. Quantity A plus B times C is equal to A, C plus B, C. And A quantity B plus C is equal to A, B plus A, C. So, sa commutative, hindi applicable yung multiplication of matrix, ha? Tapos, associative naman, tsaka distributive, are satisfied din, tulad nito. Okay? So, halimbawa, Let's say meron tayong matrix A given by 1, 2, 3, 4, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. And then meron tayong matrix B, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, which is a 2 by 3 matrix. Kung mapapansin nyo, dapat masatisfy natin yung condition. Yung number ng column ng matrix A, dapat equal doon sa number ng row ng matrix B, which is Tama, kasi paro silang 2. So, kapag minultiply natin sila, asahan natin yung magiging new dimension ng A times B or yung product nila is 2 by 3. Kung ano yung arrow ng matrix A multiplied by the column ng matrix B na rin. So, 2 by 3. So, paano ba magmultiply? So, turo ko sa inyo yung procedure. So, A multiplied by B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, Multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ang first step, 
i-multiply nyo yung first row, first column noong matrix A sa first row, first column ng matrix B. So, 1 times 1 and then plus this time yung first row, second column ng matrix A multiplied by second row, first column ng matrix B. So, 2 times 4. So, i-add nyo sila. So, ito yung magiging element nyo para doon sa first row, first column. So, next, ito man tayo sa second Ito naman tayo sa first row, second column. So, this time, multiply nyo naman yung 2 by 1. So, we have 2 times 1 plus 5 multiplied by 2. So, 2 times 5. Okay? Pahabain ko lang. So, ito yung magiging element nyo for first row, second column. Next, ito naman tayo sa first row, third column. So, multiply nyo yung 3 sa 1. So, 3 times 1. And then, 6 sa 2. Plus yon 6 times 2. Okay? So, nakuha nyo yung pattern. Multiply. Multiply, then add. Dito yon Multiply. Multiply, then add. So, dito yung element na yon Multiply. Multiply, then add. So, dito yon sa element na to. Next, ito naman tayo sa baba. This time, ito naman gagamitin natin, 3 tsaka 4. So, para sa row 2, column 1, multiply natin yung 1 sa 3, plus 4 sa 4. Okay? Next, para sa second row, second column, this time, multiply naman natin yung 2 sa 3, plus 5 sa 4. And then, for the third row, third column, multiply naman natin yung 3 sa 3, Plus, 6 sa 4. 6 times 4. So, simplify na lang natin. We have 1 plus 2 times 4 is 8. So, 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 2 times 5 is 10. So, 2 plus 10 is 12. 3 plus 6 times 2 is 12. So, 3 plus 12 is 15. Then, 3 plus 4 times 4 is 16, so 3 plus 16 is 19. Then 2 times 3 is 6, plus 5 times 4 is 20, so 6 plus 20 is 26. Then 3 times 3 is 9, plus 6 times 4 is 24, so 9 plus 24 is 33. So therefore, this is the answer. 2 by 3 matrix whose elements are 9, 12, 15, 19, 26, and 33. Okay, so... Pakita ko ulit sa inyo sa Calcio kung paano natin to masasolve. So, punta ulit kayo sa mode 6 para sa matrix. Then, i-input natin yung bagong value ng A. So, punta tayo sa matrix A. Then, dimension nyo, diba, is 2 by 2. So, press 5. Input nyo yung entry sa matrix A. Yung 1, 2, 3, 4 lang naman yun, diba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then, press AC. Then, shift 4 for matrix ulit. Then, punta kayo sa data. This time, input nyo yung bagong value ng matrix B. So, press 2. Then, ano ba yung size ng matrix B? 2 by 3, right? So, number 4, 2 by 3. So, press 4. Then, input nyo yung entries. Yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, easy. So, gusto natin i-multiply, diba? So, shift for matrix A times shift matrix 4 para sa matrix B. So, mumultiply natin ngayon si matrix A times matrix B. So, aside dito sa notation na to, pwede rin yung parenthesis. Ganyan, pwede rin yung ganyan. Then, okay. press equal para masolve yung product. Okay, so therefore, we have... 9, 12, 15, 19, 26, 33. So, therefore, tama yung nakuha nating sagot. Okay? So, para mas ma-illustrate ang operations on matrices, ay mag-solve tayo ng mas maraming example. So, given matrix A, B, C, and D, find A, 2A plus B minus 3C, and B, A times D. So, doon muna tayo sa A. So, we have 2A. So, yung matrix A, mumultiply natin sa 2 
scalar multiplication so we have 2 multiplied by 1 3 negative 2 negative 4 1 1 3 negative 1 2 then plus b so plus b ito negative 2 1 3 1 negative 4 2 3 1 negative 1 minus 3c so minus 3 multiplied by c 4 negative 3 1 2 1 3 negative 1 2 negative 1 so, dito muna tayo sa scalar multiplication. Multiply natin yung each term ng matrix A sa 2. So, 2, 6, negative 4, negative 8, 2, 2, 6, negative 2, 4, plus, copy, negative 2, 1, 3, 1, negative 4, 2, 3, 1, negative 3. Then, gawin ko na lang plus, Tapos, i-distribute ko itong negative 3. So, parang plus negative 3. Pwede rin yun. So, negative 12, 9, negative 3, negative 6, negative 3, negative 9, 3, negative 6, 3. Okay. So, pwede natin i-add yung bawat corresponding position ng elements sa tat dito sa tatlong final matrix natin. So, we have 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 12 is negative 12. And then, 6 plus 1 plus 9 is 16. Negative 4 plus 3 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Then, negative 8 plus 1 plus negative 6 is negative 13. 2 plus negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 5. 2 plus 2 plus negative 9 is negative 5. 6 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. Negative 2 plus 1 plus negative 6 is negative 7. And lastly, 4 plus negative 3 plus 3. Ah, sorry. Nagkamali ako. Dapat ito ay negative 1 lang. Dito, di ba? Tama. So, 4 plus negative 1 plus 3 is positive 6. So therefore, this is the final answer. Negative 12, 16, negative 4, negative 13, negative 5, negative 5, 12, negative 7, 6. Okay? Next, we have letter D, A multiplied by D. So we have A is equal to 1, 3, negative 2, negative 4, 1, 1, 3, negative 1, 2, multiplied by D, which is 3, negative 1, 1, 2, 4, 1. Okay, so apply uli natin yung ginawa natin dun sa kaninang illustration ko. So, dito muna tayo. Tsaka dito. So, 1 times 3 is 3. Plus, 3 times 1 is 3. Plus, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay? Then, dito naman. Multiply natin uli dito. So, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 2 times 3 is 6, so plus 6. Then, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, so plus negative 2. Okay? So, next, ito naman tayo. Pair natin uli dito. So, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Plus, 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? Then, ito, dito naman. Negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. Plus, 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, 1 times 1 is 1. Okay? Then, lastly, ito naman. Pair natin dito. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Plus, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Plus, 4 times 2 is 8. Then, lastly, ito, sa dito. Natin. So, we have negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1 times 2 is positive 2. So, simplify na lang natin yung bawat element ng product ng matrix. We have 3 plus 3 plus negative 8 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus 6 plus negative 2 is 3. Negative 12 plus 1 plus 4 is 
negative 7. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And 9 plus negative 1 plus 8 is 16. And negative 3 plus negative 2 plus 2 is negative 3. So therefore, this is the product. By the way, naging possible yung multiplication natin sa matrix A by D kasi yung dimension ng matrix A ay 3 by 3 at yung dimension ng matrix D ay 3 by 2. So pareho yung number ng column ng matrix A sa number ng row ng matrix D kaya naging possible yung multiplication natin sa kanila. At yung final output ay may dimension na 3 by 2 which is this one. Okay? Next we have if matrix A is equal to 2 minus I I 1 minus I 1 1 plus I 0 1 minus 2 I 0 negative 2 plus 3 I and matrix B is equal to I 2 minus I 3 minus 2 I negative 1 plus I 0 4 plus 3 I find A transpose multiplied by B transpose. Okay, so yung given matrix nating A at B ay nag include ng imaginary number. So, hanapin daw natin yung A transpose times B transpose. So, hanapin muna natin yung A transpose. So, base dun sa video ko, sa introduction ng matrix, para makuha natin yung transpose ng matrix, i-interchange natin yung position ng column sa row. So, halimbawa dito sa A transpose, let's say yung column 1, gagawin natin row 1. So, magiging 2 minus i, 1, 1 minus 2i. Same as itong column 2, magiging row 2. So, i, 1 plus i, 0. And lastly, yung column 3, magiging row 3. So, 1 minus i, 0, negative 2 plus 3i. Okay? And then, itong b transpose, ganun din. Itong column 1, gawin natin row 1. So, i, then, negative 1 plus i. Column 2, gawin natin row 2. So, 2 minus i, 0. And then, column 3, gawin natin row 3. So, 3 minus 2i, 4 plus 3i. Okay? And then, check natin yung dimension kung pwede ba silang mamultiply. So, yung A transpose, ang dimension niya ay 3 rows, 3 columns. So, 3 by 3. And then, itong B transpose, ang dimension niya ay 3 rows and 2 columns. So, 3 by 2. So, therefore, pareho yung number ng column ng A transpose sa number ng row ng B transpose. Therefore, possible silang mamultiply. At, ang magiging expected nating dimension ng product nila ay 3 by 2. Okay? So, multiply na natin sila. So, we have A transpose multiplied by B transpose is equal to 2 minus I, 1, 1 minus 2I i, 1 plus i, 0, 1 minus i, 0, negative 2 plus 3i, then, b transpose, kopihin ko lang ha, i, negative 1 plus i, 2 minus i, 3 minus 2i, 0, 4 plus 3i. Then, apply na natin yung process sa pagmumultiply ng matrix. So, dito muna tayo sa row 1 nung A transpose multiplied sa column 1 nung B transpose. So, so we have 2 minus I times I plus 1 times 2 minus I plus 1 minus 2I times negative 3 minus 2I. Next, dito naman sa row 2 multiplied sa column 1. So, i times i is i squared plus 1 plus i times 2 minus i plus 0 times negative 3. Sorry, 3 minus 2 i lang pala. So, 0. So, ito. Gapat ay 3 minus 2 i. And then, rho multiplied by column 1. So, 1 minus i times i is i times 1 minus i plus 0 times 2 minus i is 0 pa rin plus negative 2 plus 3i multiplied by 3 minus 2i. Okay, then dito naman tayo sa column 2 ng B transpose. Isa-isahin isa isa natin yung multiply sa each 
row nung A transpose. So, dito muna tayo sa first row. So, 2 minus I times negative 1 plus I. Plus 1 times 0 is still 0. Plus 1 minus 2I times 4 plus 3I. Then, row 2, we have I times negative 1 plus I plus 1 plus I times 0 is 0 plus 0 times 4 plus 3I is still 0. Then last, then sa row 3, so 1 minus I multiplied by negative 1 plus I plus 0 times 0 is 0 plus negative 2 plus 3i times 4 plus 3i. Okay? Then, simplify na natin. So, distribute si i. So, 2i minus i squared. So, gawin ko ng negative 1 yung i squared or simply magiging plus 1. Right? And then, i and then 1 times 2 minus i as is so, plus 2 minus i. And then ito, foil. So, 1 times 3, 3. Negative 6i plus negative 2i is negative 8i. And then negative 2i times negative 2i is positive 4i squared. Kasi itong i squared, negative 1. So, times negative 1 or negative 4. Okay? Next i squared is negative 1 plus eto foil so we have 2 2i plus negative i is positive i and then i times negative i is negative i squared or negative 1 tapos may negative pa so plus 1 okay then ito distribute i minus i squared so yung i squared gawin ko na lang negative 1 so negative times negative 1 is positive 1 then, foil. So, negative 6 minus 6. So, we have 9i multiplied by 4i is positive 13i. Then, 3i times negative 2i is positive 6i squared. Again, itong i squared, negative 1. So, magiging negative 6. Next, ito naman. Foil uli. So, we have negative 2. Then, i plus 2i is positive 3i. Then, negative i times i is negative i squared or i squared is negative 1. So, parang positive 1 na siya. Then, foil ulit. So, we have 1 times 4 is 4. Then, negative 8i plus 3i is negative 5i. Then, Negative 2i plus 3i is negative 6i squared or i squared is negative 1 so parang positive 6. Okay, then ito, distribute lang. So, negative i plus i squared. So, i squared uli is negative 1. Next, ito, foil. So, negative 1, positive i plus i is Positive 2i, then negative i times i is negative i squared. Or, negative i squared is negative 1, so plus 1. Then ito, foil. So, we have negative 8. 12i plus negative 6i is positive 6i. Then, 3i times 3i is 9i squared. Or, yung i squared is negative 1, so negative 9. Okay? And then, simplify na lang natin. Combine natin yung similar terms. So, sa mga i, we have 2i plus negative 8i plus negative i is negative 7i. So, we have negative 7i. And then, yung constant, 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 4 is positive 2. Then, dito, i copy, and then yung constant negative 1 plus 2 plus 1 is positive 2. Then dito, i, i plus 13i is 
14i. Then, yung constant, 1 minus 6 minus 6 is... Sorry, parang mali ako dito sa last part nito kasi... 3i times negative 2i is negative 6i squared. So, kaso yung i squared is negative 1. So, magiging positive 6 to. So, so therefore, makakancel itong 6. Matitira ay constant na 1. Okay? Next, ito naman. So, we have 3i minus 5i is negative 2i. And then, negative 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 6 is positive 9 and then ito copy na lang so negative 1 minus i then dito sa i negative i plus 2i plus 6i is 7i positive and then yung constant 1 minus 8 minus 9 is negative 16 okay so therefore this is the final answer Okay, so medyo mahaba lang pero kaya naman basta tiyagain. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Operations on matrix. So, practice lang kayo mag-solve para masanay kayo at mas maging madali sa inyo tong topic na to. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.